Hi everyone, it's Chrissy and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. So today we're back with a kind of like classic build. This is a classic suburban house. I feel like I haven't done a just regular suburban build in what feels like forever. Now I do, I will say that I didn't build this recently. I started this build back in i think it was august of last year and i finished it in october so it was before we had like for rent it was before we had all of the like recent kits and stuff packs that we've gotten this year so yeah it, it was started a while ago and i just i have never posted it because i needed to do a lot of editing for it because yeah it, it took me a while to get this build done for some reason so I had to edit out quite a bit of footage and I was just never in the mood to do that. So yeah, it just ended up sitting on my computer for probably, I think it's been around like what, almost six months at this point. But yeah, we're finally posting it. It is another build for Newcrest. It's for my save file as well, obviously. So yeah, it's actually for the like Jacob's Avery household. And this is one of those like rebuild houses like I already had a house for them in my save file but the build that I had was one that I did ages and ages and ages ago even before I had my YouTube channel so it was again one of those builds where it really needed a redo and a revamp just because we've gotten a lot of packs since I did the original and also because I'm a lot better of a builder now than I was when I did the first version so yeah, I figured, you know, I would do this for them. I would, I, I really wanted to make it match all of the other houses that I have in this area. Now, currently on the screen, you can't see any of them because I'm in a blank building save. <laughs> but in my save file, it definitely fits in a lot better with the houses in the surrounding neighborhood. You're just gonna have to take my word for that. <laughs> but I also wanted to like kind of update the family a little bit so originally this was just two sims they're actually engaged they're called tanya and diana now they were actually engaged you know in the original version of my save and it was just the two of them they didn't have any kids they didn't have anything like that it was just the two of them but since we got the infants update sometime like early last year, I wanted to actually give them a little infant as well. So they now have a daughter, Reagan. So she's a little adopted, you know, they adopted a little infant. I think they adopted her. Or she might have been a science baby. I'm not sure. <laughs> Once again, I did this ages ago. I did that kind of like revamp of the family when I started this build. So I can't remember if she was like a science baby that they had or if I had them adopt her. But either way, they now have an infant. So I obviously needed to like make the house have space for an infant. So it's actually a, I think it's like a three bedroom house. But one of the bedrooms are, is like currently acting as a office space for, I believe... Diana? Yeah, Diana is the one that's actually a interior decorator. So they have their own like little office space at home where they can get some work done. They have a little like, you know, fake drafting table and all of that stuff. So yeah, that's what the third bedroom is actually currently being used as. But then there's obviously, you know, the main bedroom and then the infant's bedroom. And then I believe it's a two and a half bathroom house if i'm remembering correctly i know there's a half bathroom like downstairs with just a toilet and a sink and then there's an ensuite for the main bedroom and then yeah there is a second bathroom upstairs so yeah it's a two bedroom no not two bedroom what am i saying three bedroom two and a half bathroom house but technically you know one of the bedrooms isn't currently being used as a bedroom but that's beside the point <laughs> You can obviously, you know, renovate that to make it an actual bedroom. So yeah, there's also a really big garage space as well. So the garage at the front just has a decorative car in it, like a debug car. 
and then the back portion of the garage is more of a like storage activity space so i put in a flower arranging table and a bunch of like gardening clutter because tanya is actually a really she's actually a botanist she is in the botany branch i think of the gardener career so they also have a greenhouse in the backyard as well. I started this, you know, just, just, just after we got the greenhouse haven kit. So when I started this, I knew that I wanted the house to have a greenhouse. <laughs> so yeah, so they do have a greenhouse in the back. And then obviously, you know, they have the garage space. The garage could very easily double as another bedroom. You could put a wall like right through the middle of the garage to like separate it into two separate rooms. The front could still be like a fake garage space. And then the back actually has access to the backyard. So it has an entrance from the backyard as well and an entrance from the house. But that area could easily be another bedroom, maybe for like a teenager or in-laws or, you know, whatever you want it to be. Because, you know, it has access both from in the house and from outside. So, yeah, definitely a very versatile space and you don't need all of the gardening stuff that's in there. The only kind of like useful thing that's in there, I think, is the flower arranging station and then I think a yoga mat. But both of those things you could very easily find other space for or just delete if you didn't want to play with that. And then you'd have like a bunch of extra space. So yeah, here we are putting in the little greenhouse spot. And I really, really love the way this greenhouse turned out. All of the other greenhouses that I've made so far in the game for houses and stuff, they've all been a lot like, not, I, want, I don't want to say more neutral, but they've all been in the brown swatches of these like greenhouse windows and stuff like that i've always used the brown swatches i don't think i've ever used the white not that i can like remember off the top of my head anyway so i really really like the way that looks and i don't know i feel like it just fits in with this whole like suburban vibe very very well <laughs> and yeah here you can see uh, you know now there's a house next door to it i don't know why there's suddenly a house next door to it I don't know if I moved the build or if I, like, I think I placed the houses down in my build save because I wanted to see what wallpapers and stuff I was using for them because I wanted this house to obviously match in with the rest of the houses. So, yeah, yeah, I think that's what I did. I placed the houses, like, next door to it so that I could see what colors I was using because I didn't want to put a blue suburban next to a blue suburban. So I wanted this house to have a little bit of a different color scheme. It still has, you know, the same white accents, the same brick, all of that stuff. But I wanted the paneling to be a little bit of a different color. And I think I ended up going for that, like, nice beige tan color in the end. Now, the kitchen is a little bit a little bit more modern than you might think because I currently have these jungle adventure not jungle adventure island living counters I swap them out later on for the I think the home chef hustle counters I think is what I end up going with once we have that so yeah like I said I started this in August and then in October when I came back to it we had obviously already gotten the home chef hustle pack so I swapped out all of the counters and all of that stuff for that pack stuff and the reason I did that is because I really wanted this house to have a fairly modern kitchen because I can't remember if it's Diana or Tanya that's really into cooking. I think both of them are. But yeah, they're both really into cooking and baking and stuff like that. So I wanted them to have a nice kitchen. And I felt like, you know, even if they bought this house and it's been around for a while, they probably would have done a little bit of renovating to it. So like maybe they've renovated the bathrooms, maybe they've renovated the kitchen and all of those kind of stuff just to make it, you know, their own. Now, I did have to cut out, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I had to cut out quite a few things. So I ended up cutting out all of the bathrooms. They're all very basic and boring. I will show you all of them at the end in the tour, obviously. So yeah, I did cut out the bathrooms. I cut out some cluttering and stuff like that because for some reason I was really, really like indecisive when it came to cluttering specifically. So there's a lot of times where I would, you know, clutter up a space and then go to another room. 
and find something that I wanted to use in the previous room. So I'd go back and I'd move stuff around and I was just very indecisive when I did this build. And I don't really know why, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like it might have been because August was a really, really rough month for me. So I, was, I wasn't really like in the building head space, if you could say that. I don't know, but in any case, I was very indecisive when I did this build, <laughs> long story short. So there's a few spots where I do jump ahead and I kind of just show you what I eventually decide on rather than making you sit through the whole process of me changing stuff like 20 different times, if that makes sense. Now here in the living room, it is a little bit of an awkward shape just because I didn't want to put the TV in front of the windows. So I kind of like oriented it this way and I intentionally put the coffee table at that weird angle because I wanted to make it look like they had just pushed the coffee table out of the way to make room for the infant play mat. So because you know that's just I feel like that's a very realistic thing to do if you know you have a living room set up and you have a kid then you know you're realistically going to push furniture out of the way if you want to make space for something that's not permanent. So obviously the playmat will be going away once the infant ages into a toddler. So yeah, I feel like they would have just pushed the coffee table out of the way a little bit rather than getting a smaller coffee table. So, you know, that's just like what I would do personally, just push it out of the way a little bit. And it is still fully functional, all of like the couches, everything like that. I did play test this build. I played in it. I played in it a little bit with this actual family when I was playtesting it. So it all works. Everything should be fine. But yeah, just as a little bit of a heads up. Now you'll also see that I did go for <laughs> a fairly weird selection of furniture for this house. You'll see that I went for a lot of like more suburban contemporary type things, you know, like those Dream Home Decorator couches, a lot of stuff from Dream Home Decorator. I also used obviously, you know, the more modern kitchen and some more modern contemporary things that you would expect to maybe see in a suburban house. And then I also went for a couple of more vintage eclectic weird looking items like you know the dining table we have a couple of those really old vintage like looking rugs from the paranormal stuff back from from like growing together we also have those like armchairs from paranormal stuff back so there's a lot of different styles going on in this build like we have the suburban contemporary we have vintage we have some eclectic styles we have some art deco stuff as well so yeah i did that intentionally because the sims that live here diana and tanya they actually enjoy a lot of different styles so they have a they have a very colorful style if that makes sense so you'll also notice that we have those accent walls in the kitchen we have a lot of like contrasting colors as well and that's just the way that they are they're both very creative sims obviously you know tanya more so with the like gardening and flower arranging aspect and diana more with like painting and stuff like that so yeah they're both very colorful sims we'll just put it that way so i really wanted their house to definitely reflect that and be a lot less i guess neutral than my regular suburbans would be usually when i do a suburban house the whole house is fairly neutral in color scheme if i'm being completely honest and then i'll make like the kids rooms or something colorful but the rest of the house usually is fairly basic in the terms of color <laughs> and the same will be said for their bedroom as well once we get to it it's definitely i don't want to say childish but I used a lot of items from packs like high school years just because it came in the kind of like color swatches and patterns and stuff that I feel like they would like. So the bed for example is one that's from high school years and I used it in a fairly colorful swatch which is probably why it makes me think of a teenager just because personally I would not want a bed that colorful. <laughs> 
But then again, I'm not like, I'm only in my mid-twenties, so... Yeah, I don't know. I feel like every time I do, I think it's just because every time I do a suburban house, I always have like probably older sims living there. Or not older sims, but like families. So having like adult sims. So I want the bedroom and the house to look like, you know, some kind of like arbitrary adult color scheme, if that makes sense. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but hopefully you guys understand. <laughs> Basically, just usually I don't decorate houses this colorfully, if that makes sense. I just, I don't do this. I don't decorate suburban houses this colorfully and this, like, with these, like, very different styles and all of that stuff. So, I don't know. I just, I had a lot of fun with this one. But yeah, we've moved on to the main bedroom. Now, I do put a laptop in the main bedroom as well because there, obviously, there is two sims. So, while Diana has her separate, like, you know, office space. I wanted Tanya to also have space to like have her own laptop and do her own stuff. So, you know, I figured maybe the desk in the bedroom is Tanya's and then the office is Diana's or whatever. So yeah, that's just what I was thinking. And I also used those lamps from the basement treasures kit. I also used the wallpaper, but the lamps are technically, if you play with the gameplay from that pack, the lamps are technically broken and you can set them to like flicker and if they do that then your sims will get a tense mood lit from being around them. I didn't do that, I just used them as regular lamps. Obviously, you know, you can swap them out. I just like the way they looked. I like the fact that they kind of look like maybe they've been thrifted or something. And, you know, they found these lamps and they really like them even though they're very old. They're kind of like wobbly and wonky i feel like they just they would like them so i went with that and then we have a little clothes rack we also have a built-in wardrobe as well and then you might see a couple of glimpses of the bathrooms as we go around the house i'm not sure but like i said i will show you guys everything at the end now apologies if my voice <laughs> is going a little bit weird if I sound a little bit croaky or like my voice is going, it is. I am sick again. I don't know if I mentioned this in the last video. I feel like I mention in every video these days that I'm sick. And that's because I am I have been sick. <laughs> Basically every second week for like the past month, month and a half. I've been sick like every other week. And that's just because of the weather. The weather has been really weird where I am one day it's hot one day it's cold some days we'll have like four different seasons all in one day so it's been weird and it's been messing with my basically everything so <laughs> yeah if I sound a little bit croaky or out of breath I should have mentioned this at the beginning of the video but yeah, if I sound a little bit out of breath I am I'm struggling <laughs> I'm struggling not to cough while I'm doing this voiceover as well so yeah, it's it's weird because then again today yesterday it was cold I had to wear a hoodie and all of that stuff today. It's like 33 degrees Celsius So it's like super hot summer's day. I want to go swimming and it's just it's weird man because tomorrow It's supposed to be colder again and raining. So that's fun. That's just that's great for you know, everything right like uh, it's just it's so annoying <laughs> but yeah so yeah we've actually moved on to the infant's bedroom i did try and keep it kind of neutral there's some pink some blue some like greenish colors and then a lot of like neutral beige whites you know all of that kind of stuff it's basically it's very like customizable you could very easily customize this room for whatever child or infant or whatever you have in here and you can also like swap out the crib put in a child bed you know all of that stuff it's a nice ish size it's on the smaller size i think i think the office might be a little bit bigger maybe i'm not sure i know they both have you know walk-in closets from get together but i think the office might be a little bit bigger or it might just be a square i don't know but we'll see that in any in just in a second when we move on to the office <laughs> in any case but yeah i really really like the way this infant's room turned out it's a little bit 
it's not as elaborate as some of my infant rooms end up being sometimes, but I really, really like it. And yeah, here we've moved on to the office. Now, eventually, I will be blocking off the like walk in wardrobe. I end up putting a desk drawing table thing from Dream Home Decorator in front of it. So that wardrobe isn't functional unless you delete the table that I place in front of it. But I feel like that is realistic and doesn't really matter because this room isn't used as a bedroom, it's used as an office. So that closet would probably just be for storage and it would be something that you go into maybe once a year. So <laughs> in that case you can move the desk out of the way. It's not something you'd want to be in like every single day. So yeah, that's just something that I did that I wanted to mention. <laughs> Before anyone goes into the comments and say, oh, you know, you playtested this build, but this closet is completely blocked. Yes, it is supposed to be blocked. That was the point. <laughs> but yeah, I also put in an easel in here because Diana is a painter. She is, she actually has the painter extraordinaire aspiration, I believe. So she wants to be a painter, but she's in the, like, interior decorating career just because I don't really have a lot of sims in that career in my save file and I wanted to have someone in it so yeah that's just why I did that and then obviously I do feel like she would paint you know in her free time she also has a drawing tablet so she can do some digital art she can do some more traditional paintings as well and then you know obviously she has all of the stuff that she would realistically need for being an interior decorator a lot of that stuff is just decoration in the game but I really really like the way it looks so yeah we have her little like drawing desk she has her regular desk and then her easel all of that fun stuff and then that will basically be it for the inside of this house for the like living spaces the rest of the stuff that we're going to be doing is the outside which is just you know the yard space I end up putting, you know, all of the regular stuff, grill, table, chairs, all of that stuff out there. I also put in a swing set, I believe, and a clothesline. They do have a washer and a dryer inside, but I figured, you know, when the weather is nice, they would prefer to hang their clothes outside just, you know, to spare, like, to, like, conserve electricity. I feel like they would be fairly eco-conscious sometimes. So yeah, they do have that if they want to use it. And then in the garage, like I said, flower arranging table, clutter, all of that fun stuff. And then the greenhouse also has obviously all of the planters and some more gardening clutter. And that is about it for this build, you guys. But I will go in at the end and show you everything in more detail. And obviously show you everything that I cut out as well. Now, with all of that said, with all of the talking about the build out of the way... I want to say that I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I have started doing early access for these speed builds that I've been doing. I feel like I think I've done it for the past two builds. I will be doing it for this one as well. But basically what that means is that all of my channel members, so all three tiers of my channel members will be getting early access to videos from now on for between like an like one to two days early access you know unless it's something that's obviously embargoed that i can't share ahead of time if i can share it ahead of time i will i will try to have videos done ahead of time as well so that i can share them like i am doing with the speed build channel members actually got to see this video on saturday whereas the rest of you guys are seeing it on sunday so yeah if you want to get early access to videos then yeah, check out the little channel member tab, click on the little join button next to the subscribe button. I also want to mention that my tray files will be up for channel members. They go up for my tier 2 and tier 3 channel members. Every, like as soon as videos go out, they get access to the tray files. And then in 3 weeks, they will be going up for everyone over on my Tumblr. But of course, my builds are always uploaded to the gallery. I always upload them as soon as I finish them. Or as soon as the videos go out. So if you guys want to download this build. It is up on the gallery. It's completely custom content free. I did use a bunch of different packs though. So just be aware of that. But yeah if you guys want to check that out. Then obviously feel free to do so. And I also still have a creator code. So if you want to buy any sims packs on the EA app. 
and you're on PC or obviously Mac, then I do have a creator code, which if you use my code when you check out, I will receive a small percentage of the sale. Like I will receive a small percentage of the sale and that helps to support me and the channel without you having to spend anything extra to like become a channel member or something like that. So it's a really, really great way to support the channel if you, that is something that you would like to do. But with all of that said, let's go ahead, jump on into the game and take a look at this build. Okay, so here we are with the finished build. It's built on the Fern Park lot in Newcrest. It's, I believe, a 30 by 20. Yeah, it's a 30 by 20 lot. And I did give it a couple of lot traits. I gave it the good schools, great soil and homey lot traits as well. But yeah, this is what the build looks like from the front. As you can see, I do have a couple of my completed builds next to it that I mentioned in the voiceover just to see what it, what I was using for them. <laughs> but yeah, so we have the build from the front. We have a little car out the front. I really, really wish we had proper cars. <laughs> but yeah, we have a little debug car at the front. I really, really like the way this house looks. I don't know. Yeah, I just, I, I like the look of this traditional suburban house. I don't know. I just, I like it. But yeah, so let's go around the back first. So we have obviously a nice sized backyard, but you can access the back from this side from, you know, going through the little gate and that leads you into the back. We have our little clothesline, we have our garbage, our trash cans over there. We have a little like, you know, little swing set, lots of flowers as well. I do usually, I actually am supposed to have stairs over there. I don't know why. They deleted maybe when I placed it down. Do I have I, I I that's I think that's a why? What the actual I don't know. There, there's supposed to be staircases here. I don't know why they won't place. I had them there originally, so I don't know what's going on. But we'll pretend that there's supposed to be staircases there. I will fix whatever is going on there. I don't think it's a problem on the gallery. <laughs> but yeah, there's supposed to be a staircase <laughs> just there. <laughs> so we'll pretend that they're there. But yeah, out here in the back we have a little outdoor kitchen space with a grill. Like pizza oven, sink, you know, some seating. We obviously have our outside dining table as well. And then we have the greenhouse space with a lot of plants and, you know, lots of gardening clutter, all of that stuff. We also have access to the garage from the outside. We have access from the garage from the inside as well, from the hallway. But yeah, in here we just have the flower arranging table, more clutter, yoga mat, and then another little fake debug car. <laughs> but going into the front of the house, we have a little hallway space that you can't really see a lot of the detail when the walls aren't all the way up. But we have a little closet, like, coat hanging space over there. We have a little hallway table. Just, you know, all of that fun stuff. Then that leads you into the dining room, kitchen, living room space. So over here we have the living room, obviously. Like I mentioned in the voiceover, a lot of colors, a lot of, like, I don't want to say immature decorations but they have like fairy lights and pictures on the walls like polaroids and it's a little bit more like what i would think of as teenagery but that's not like really a proper description because i have fairy lights in my room and i'm not a teenager <laughs> so yeah i don't know i just i don't really usually decorate family homes like this let's just put it that way I usually keep this kind of decorating for teenager or child rooms. I don't put it in the whole house. <laughs> but yeah, so they have a nice little living room space. They have a nice big dining table as well. And then that leads you into the big kitchen. So like I said, kitchen definitely been renovated. Lots of modern counters, appliances. Lots of clutter as well because it's me and I love clutter. So... <laughs> Yeah, lots of clutter. Here's one of the Sims. This is actually, I believe, Diana, I think. Yeah, I think this is Diana. And then there's little Reagan as well. She has some more places for family pictures. Through here, they have their little laundry space. So they have their washer dryer. They have, obviously, you know, trash can, parenthood board. And then this is where we have the little downstairs guest bathroom as well. Now, going upstairs, we have a hallway. I don't know why did I put three computers in this house. 
I don't know why I did three computers. <laughs> we will just ignore that fact. Maybe this computer over here in the office is specifically a work computer and not for like personal use or something. We'll just pretend. But you can never have too many computers in a sim's house anyway, so yeah. In any case, <laughs> we have some family pictures over here on the walls that I used that family portrait thing of and I like had them change their outfits and have a bunch of different family pictures. So yeah, we have that. We have a little desk space here. Maybe this is for when, you know, Reagan becomes a child and she needs a desk space. I don't know. We have that. We have a little bookcase. <laughs> And then we have the main bedroom as well. So we have a little desk space, closet, not closet, like hanging clothes rack, bed, you know, all of that stuff. This is the main bedroom, not bedroom, bathroom, the ensuite. I can't speak. <laughs> but yeah, it's a very, very weird shape. So we have the toilet right there. Then we have this little like alcove almost for the bath that's across from this big like vanity sink area and then we have the shower over in that corner it's a very weird space but this is the only way that i could make the floor plan work so i went with it <laughs> but yeah so we have the ensuite bathroom then uh, back out in the hallway we also have the main kind of like family bathroom as well so yeah quite a nice size bathroom very nice like shower tub combo a lot of open space as well so you can potty train toddlers and all of that stuff and then over here we have the office space so yeah you guys did see this in the video but we have a little easel space we have you know all of the stuff that Diana needs to be in the like interior decorating career like work desk work computer all of that stuff and then across the hall we just the we just have the little infant's bedroom for little Reagan as well so yeah there's another play mat over here a rocking chair like infant crib changing table and then a bunch of just like clutter basically to make it look like you know they actually live here <laughs> and there's stuff everywhere for the infant and there's also a little blarfy and a toy box for when they get a little bit older but that is basically this entire house you guys so i'll just show you a quick little top down floor plan view as well so this is the top floor and then this is the first floor as well and then obviously, you know, we have the greenhouse and the backyard and all of that stuff. But yeah, that is it for this build, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. You know, if you did, give the video a like. If you're new to the channel and want to see some more Sims content, feel free to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell as well to be notified of whenever I upload a new video. I also, you know, like I mentioned, have this build already up on the gallery. I will make sure that the build on the gallery doesn't have that weird staircase staircase being missing glitch thing i will make sure of that and if it does have that i will like take it down and fix it before i put it up again <laughs> so yeah but if you want to download it it is up on the gallery i really really hope you guys enjoyed this build and yeah i will talk to you guys all in my very next video bye everyone